Hey, good morning everybody. I'm going to show you an important skill today. It's not actually a lab competency, but it's one of the most difficult things for students, I think, uh, to get. And that's how to refold a surgical gown after we've already used it. All right, now I think this skill is very important because we want to get that first time, real time experience every single time we open a gown. All right, so refolding it after we've used it is really important. So I'm going to show you the process of how to do this. You guys can watch this video uh, as many times as you want. And I just want to urge you that every single time you gown and glove, use this technique in refolding your gown. Now, first I want to draw out like what I think are the two most important steps. And I'll reiterate these as I, as I show you the technique. But the primary thing is I want you guys to understand what is the inside and the outside of the gown. All right, so as I'm a brand new gown opened up, all right, this will be facing my body. I'm gonna call this the inside of the gown, all right? The part that's facing outwards towards the sterile field will be the outside of the gown. And I think the single biggest step in this process is making sure when I put the gown on the ground to fold it, the outside has to be facing up. If that step is forgotten, the, the rest of us can just, is not going to fall into place and it's not going to be that single first time kind of experience. All right, so I'm going to open up the gown. And so we have the inside of the gown and the outside of the gown. All right, so step one has to be make sure the outside of the gown is facing up. All right, so I have plenty of space here on the floor. And I start off with the outside of the gown facing up. All right. Now again, now the second I talk about, there's two important steps. I think the second biggest step is creating those arm cuffs. So right off the bat, we can try and follow the folds of the gown. But what I'm doing basically is I'm following the seam right underneath the armpit and I'm creating one fold. All right. So the gown's going to look like this. All right, so let me just say that again. So I have one, the one seam right underneath the armpit, and then I basically make a V, just one fold, one V fold, and the gown's gonna end up looking like this as I put the sleeve of the gown right down by the side. So I'm gonna do the second, uh, the same step over here on the other side, following that one fold, that one seam right underneath the armpit and doing one single fold like this. And then the gown sleeve is gonna go right, uh, right along the edge. All right, so next step is I'm gonna fold the gown in half and then I'm gonna fold it in thirds. So gown folds up right to the edge of the neckline. So that's halfway, now I'm gonna fold it in thirds. So there's a third, and there's a third. All right, now from this point, I'm gonna fold it in fourths. So this side gets folded to the middle in fourths, this side gets folded to the middle of fourths, and then I fold it in half. And here is the final product of what a surgical gown should look like every single time we gown and glove ourselves from the back table. Now I know uh, initially it's gonna be really difficult, but eventually you guys are gonna be better folders than me. Uh, I wanna urge you to take your time when you're doing it uh, to make sure it's flat and uniform. Uh, good luck.